Welcome to the Hoodstead. I figured I would try Butcher Box. I don't know if anybody's familiar. It's a pasture raised, grass fed, grass finished um, meat company. So if you're concerned with, you know, how your animals are being treated before they're slaughtered or how they're slaughtered, or if you don't have access to land enough to grow your own meat, or if you're not that type of person that feels like they could process their own meat, ButcherBox is a good option. Now, I've never tried this before. I'm not endorsing ButcherBox. This is actually my first box, so I figured I would open it with you. Sorry, I keep squinting. I'm blind. Um, I ordered it December 26th, and uh, I've been checking my emails every day. Your order's processing, your order's processing. I'm like, okay, cool, I have time. And then all of a sudden, your order's here. So, as far as them letting you know when things have shipped, I don't think that's, uh, I got an email at midnight telling me that my <laughs> package shipped. It's like processing, processing. It's here! You got it! So, here's my box. Uh, I got the smaller one. <laughs> this is the smaller one. Where you can, can um, customize what it is that you want in your box. It was $159 a month, but I got $20 off six months and I got a lifetime of free bacon. I don't know if that's a good thing or not because I haven't tried it, but we'll give it a whirl. So we're gonna open this up and see what we got. I, uh, I've been out of the loop. I've been sick. Yep, that thing. Still going around. It finally got me. So, <laughs> wasn't too bad. Mostly really exhausted, terrible headache. Uh, I couldn't even keep my eyes open. Oh my God, I'm holding the phone. It's the heaviest iPhone 6S you have ever seen in your life. Exhausted. Most of the symptoms are gone. All I have left is the, uh, the lack of smell. I don't know if that's ever been something you've experienced but the lack of smell is the freakiest thing I have ever had the I don't know if it's pleasure or mispleasure because it's it's so weird like I had a craving for chocolate chip cookies and you know when you make chocolate chip cookies it tells you to do like nine minutes in the oven it's never the exact time you got to go by smell so I'm sitting here and I'm like yo these cookies are taking a long time this is before I realized I didn't have any smell so I went over to the oven. I'm thinking, okay, maybe, maybe I didn't turn it on. I have no idea. I opened up that oven. Them cookies was dark, dark, Amazon dark. <laughs> I didn't smell anything. Now, you know chocolate chip cookies walk through your whole house. I ain't smell nothing. Same thing two days later. I was making homemade buttermilk biscuits. Nothing. I don't smell anything. It's weird. And it messes with your taste, too, because smell and taste go together. So, yeah. This, this freaky no taste thing is really driving me crazy. But, anywho, let's get into the butcher box. So, it has what, your, uh, what you ordered on the inside. Cover my little address. So, I have, uh, I got a sirloin cap, 24 ounces. I got a chuck roast. 36 ounces. I got a half a boneless pork butt. I got the free bacon. I got salmon, brisket, and cod. So, first of all, it comes in this. Oh, what's this? This is just a box. Oh, this is like, um, what do you call it? I guess insulation? Wow. I think this box had dry ice. So, it comes with this little thing. This box may contain dry ice. Okay, do not handle dry ice with bare hands. All right, so this may have had dry ice at one time. So that comes in on top. Back up a little. There we go. Uh, yeah, everything's nice and... Oh, there's the dry ice. Ooh, we're going to play with this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make sure you don't touch dry ice with your bare hands because it sticks. You can put dry ice in water. Smoke. We're gonna do that after. Because I'm a big child. And there's another piece of insulation. 
Oh, this is pretty. Okay. Nice. This is my uh, grass-fed beef bolus chuck roast. Everything's nice and frozen. Solid. Package intact. I'm going to make some bourguignon with that. Which is just French for beef stew with red wine in it, but it's delicious. Uh, I'll do videos of, of all this stuff when I cook it. Top sirloin cap, which looks like a chuck roast, but it's not. It's sirloin. I'll probably make, uh, I'll probably just slice this in two and just have it as a sirloin steak. So there's that. And then there's my, oh my God. chips. Yes. Uh, I didn't expect this all to be so big. Look at this. This is my salmon. My Alaskan wild caught sockeye salmon. That is not the actual picture. There's a good bunch of salmon in here. There's like eight four ounce portions in here. My free bacon. This is an applewood smoked uncured bacon. So this is not like the bacon that you would get normally. This is okay. There's that. Yeah. There's my brisket. This stuff all looks alike. <laughs> Why do I have two bacon?s I didn't order bacon. I hope I don't get too much bacon. I don't like bacon like that. There's my brisket. I have a stove top smoker, so I'm gonna make some smoked brisket. And my pork roast, which I believe is just probably like a paneer for you Puerto Ricans out there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna make this. Slice it up, put some uh, cloves of garlic in there. And another bacon. So, I mean, not bad. Considering, look at this. So, they have a deal going on right now. It's $159, $20 off for six months, plus free bacon for the lifetime of your membership. This stuff is rock solid frozen. I'm gonna put this on the table so you can see. <sighs> this is a lot. It's just me, so I mean, it's a lot for me. I'm gonna be definitely cooking. I did it just beef and some seafood because I can get um, I can get a uh, chicken in my local stores, but I can't find grass-fed beef that's not like $35 a pound. Like, it's crazy. This works out to, how many pounds of this did I get? I think it works out to like 10 bucks a pound, 12 bucks a pound for pasture raised, wild caught, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, but check this out. For 139 and this comes monthly so um yeah i'm gonna be eating on this for a while with some fresh veggies a lot of roasts but as i make everything i'll um i'll definitely uh i'll definitely cook it with you so you can see what i did with that but, uh, yeah i just wanted to invite you to uh check out the butcher box and uh yeah so, thanks for peeking, checking me out. <sighs> Start back to work uh, day after tomorrow.
my quarantine is over. So I'll uh, talk to you later. Bye.